Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about adding definition to your life so that you can be iconic and legendary in your own right. Stay tuned. So most of us want to feel our unique and authentic self. We want to feel our individuation and our own irreplicable power and magic. In a word, we want to feel iconic or legendary. None of us want to believe that we are just mimicking the rest of society or just a carbon copy of everybody else. We're not here for that. We're here for our own unique, individual, magical experience. If you believe you are here for this, if you believe you are here to be a legend or to be iconic or to just find your complete authentic self, then own it and claim it right now by typing yes down in the comments. Yes, I am here to be legendary. Yes, I am here to be iconic. Yes, I am here to be authentic. In this 3D dimension, this is completely possible because that's what we are here for, to experience our own individuated avatar. There are three important ingredients that you need in order to add definition to your life and to get to this authentic, iconic place. And these three ingredients are on a continuum and they are know yourself, love yourself, create yourself, rinse and repeat. The first one, know yourself, is about knowing who you are completely in this moment in time, your current, not who you used to be, not who you were yesterday, not who you are aspiring to be, but who you are right now, currently. Now this may seem like a no-brainer, and of course I know I, I know myself, but it isn't that simple because so many of us get so entangled with other people's energies and opinions and expectations with the way we've been conditioned and that we have a hard time really sifting and sorting and really knowing who we are what we truly desire, what we truly want. And this holds true especially for three specific type of personalities. The first one being highly sensitive people. These people are ones that are so sensitive and they become extra hypersensitive about other people and how they feel. And they spend much of their energy, time, resources, money, and focus on trying to make other people feel comfortable and feel happy. And in this process, they lose themselves. The second type is empaths. And empaths are people that absorb the energies around them. They're great absorbers. So they often get their energy and who they are mixed up with a lot of energies around them. And they're not able to decipher sometimes until they've practiced and learn what is theirs and what is not theirs. And the third type are people that have been through trauma and abuse. Because of this, they have learned to survive by keeping their attention on other people. They have learned and practiced to watch their abusers and to monitor them and to know how to behave and to mold themselves to behave according to their expectations and desires in order to survive. And this has become their habit now, even though they may not be in a place where they're still being uh, threatened. So the way home to knowing yourself is to begin to untangle yourself from other people's expectations, other people's energies, from beliefs that might not be something that you're grounded and rooted on, but you just took on and mindsets and really start to untangle your own pure energy from that so that you can know and distinguish who you are currently from, again, all these different uh, energies and opinions and 
societal expectations and family expectations and friendships and all that type of thing. The way home is untangling your energy from all that other energy. And then piggying back knowing yourself is loving yourself. And this love, this self-love needs to be unconditional. Love includes acceptance. It includes wanting to spend time with somebody. It includes nurturing and caring about and investment. It includes investment of time, energy, focus, money. So loving yourself is the second way that we begin to add this iconic definition to. You have to know who you are right now and you have to genuinely love, appreciate, accept, nurture, advocate for yourself. And then once you know yourself and you're fully loving yourself, then it's time to start creating yourself realizing that you are here to expand and to become and that you can become more and that you can change and that things can be different. If you look back, you know that most of you know that the person you were 20 years ago is completely different from the person you are today. And so we are recreating ourselves all the time. So creating yourself by deciding and choosing what parts of yourself you want to hold on to, what parts you're ready to lovingly release. In a word, it is becoming the hub of your own life, being the creator that you are, stepping in to your sovereignty over your life. Know yourself, love yourself, create yourself, rinse and repeat. This is the evolution of life. And this is where, when you become really adept at this process, and you, it becomes intentional, this is where you become iconic, you become legendary, and you become completely defined and authentic. Let me share with you a tool that I created first for myself and then for my clients to help me do these, go through these three processes. I'm gonna to introduce to you my daily cauldron. So just a little bit about myself. I personally fit all three definitions of people who have a difficult time knowing themselves. I am a highly sensitive personality, an empathic, and I had a, a childhood that was riddled with trauma and abuse. When I began to heal my heart, uh, it was so important for me to find who I was and to find my authentic self because I could feel so much of how much of a chameleon I had become and I felt completely lost to myself. But finding myself felt like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It felt like I was had this shattered sense of self that was just shattered, like glass shattered on the floor, and I was trying to piece that together. It almost seemed impossible. Yet I persevered through that, and today I feel like I am cohesive, I feel like I am growing, like I'm in these processes of knowing, loving, and creating, and rinsing and repeating it, and I find it to be so fun, so intriguing, so mysterious, and so exciting. I can honestly say that I love being in my own skin and that I do feel like I'm becoming more legendary and iconic every day. So again, I created the Daily Cauldron. It was first just a printout that I offered to my uh, clients that were in my group. And then I wanted to make a journal. I intended to make a journal and I honestly wanted to make it for myself and then be able to offer it to others who wanted to use it. And I didn't want it to just be something that felt like a job. I wanted it to feel like I was creating magic in my life. I wanted to feel my magic, my personal magic, and I wanted it to have all the most powerful tools that has helped me to come to know myself and to practice that on a daily basis. And that's why it is called the Daily Cauldron, mixing up a, a mystical, magical, beautiful life. It is literally a journal like no other. This is not a day-to-day 
book that has a bunch of boxes that you need to fill in every minute of the day of what you're doing. I have tried so many of those daily planners and they only felt frustrating to me and I can't tell you how many of them I just ended up tossing or moving on because I couldn't keep up with that type of plan, life plan for me. My mind doesn't work that way. I tend to have more of a chaotic, overwhelmed mind and this daily cauldron has actually calmed my overwhelm like nothing else I've ever had or done. And overwhelm has been a part of my life forever. So to actually have a tool that is calming my overwhelm feels like magic in and of itself. One of the magical things about the daily cauldron is you are starting in your current. You start every day by asking yourself, how do I feel? And by meeting the needs that you have that day. And by deciding first thing in the morning, what you want to create that day. What do you want to invoke? So you're thinking of your day as a cauldron and you are putting in the right ingredients, beginning with how do I feel and what do I need? It's so important that you tap back into you. And it might feel frustrating in the beginning, it does for most of my clients, but as you practice it, this is what you start to discover, where you start to discover who you are because you're checking in with you on a regular basis. So many of my clients, and, and, and myself included, have always just gotten up and started in on our day uh, with all the cares and concerns right at the beginning of the day on our mind and started in on serving people. What do I have to do? And we have everybody on our mind and the dog and the cat, right? Everybody. And we lose ourselves completely in the day. This brings you back to the hub of your life which is integral if you are going to ever be fully happy and satisfied and be able to feel like you are living your most legendary life. The Daily Cauldron, it works with where you are currently, it works with your own personal magic, and it helps you stay at the hub of your own life. And I'm so excited to announce that this is now made available on Amazon. If you want to purchase it, I'm going to leave a link below this video. And please, if you get it, let me know and let me know how it works for you. I'm so excited about this. I use it. I love it. I hate it if I ever miss a day on it. I can tell the difference. I look forward to getting into my daily cauldron first thing every morning. It has made all the difference in my life. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell to be updated when I make a new video and to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to subscribe to my newsletter as well so you can be updated via email when I create new content. All right, have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.